Here at Bushmans Kloof we have quite a few projects that we're quite busy with throughout the year. In our main dam we have the Yellowfish project. They actually breed very successfully throughout the year. As soon as the winter arrives, they actually spread downstream. The young fish and also eggs. So actually we stock the smaller rivers downstream with yellowfish. Yeah, we also have um, the leopard project here at Bushmans Kloof. We work hand in hand with Cape Leopard Trust. Um, basically getting more information about the Cape Mountain Leopard. Very little known about these cats. We've tried to catch a few leopards. We were successful so far catching two that we collared and collared them with GPS um, collars. So through that we can actually track them and see what's their location and actually how big their home ranges are. And then another unique project is also the Cape Mountain Zebra project. Now here at Bushman's Kloof we're very lucky having a few of these endangered species. Um, basically we have data of all the Cape Mountain Zebra on the property. Now, these are typical Bushman artifacts that you would have found. Mm -hmm. um, although it's slightly more modernised, but you'll still find the sinew being used. Was here you'll find typical bows that would have used. Very lightweight equipment bows, small bows, not even a meter long. And this is just a normal animal skin they would have used. The original one. Yeah. Now at this site we have quite a few special figures. One of the unique or amazing figures is this one up here. Beautiful female figure. Females have been painted in quite a unique way. Nice big bums, breast has been depicted there and also you'll find a digging stick. If you move over to the right hand side, you'll find a beautiful elephant figure has been depicted. Typical of sign of fertility, always a rain beast, also seen as a rain beast. The elephants are actually the second most painted animal in the Cedarburg mountain range. Then over here to your right, you'll find a beautiful shamanistic figure being depicted. In his hands in front, he's actually holding two digging sticks or walking sticks to keep him upright during this dance. So it doesn't, so it doesn't fall over. Now these trance dances can last up to three to four minutes. And in this figure here, you'll find beautiful fine line art that's been depicted with actually blood running from his nose. Mm -hmm. 